What is up, guys? I'm Forrest, and I just taught ChatGPT to use the internet. So, uh, for those of you who know about ChatGPT, you know that it was trained on data ending in 2021, I believe. So it doesn't know anything recent that's happened, but it's pretty smart anyway. And there's this system called LangChain that sort of uses ChatGPT in a loop, sort of telling itself what to do, um, where you can attach tools to it and, and tell it, you know, you can Google, you can, uh, you can hit databases, run Python scripts, whatever you want to do. So I just made two tools and handed them to ChatGPT. One of them can Google search and find URLs, and the other one can scrape those URLs, summarize them to itself, uh, and then it can it can answer basically any question up to things that happened you know ten minutes ago as long as they're on the internet and Google can find them. So this is really really powerful. Uh, here's an example. So this is my one of my prompts to it, uh, telling it you know you can actually see it thinking and it tells itself this is what I think it should do next and then it does it. Gosh, it is amazing. So let's just try. What's a good, yeah. Let's try, show me an example of code vulnerable to log for shell. That's what we're gonna tell it to do. Log for shell, that's a vulnerability that our company, uh, our company published. So let's run that. This is something, if you just Google, sometimes you don't get good results. You have to Google, like look through a lot of the results to figure it out. So this is a good example of, you know, this thing does take time, it takes time to decide and read all of these pages, but it does it faster than you can. So you can see here, it's saying based on this question, I should start by using the Google search to find information about log for shell and vulnerable code examples. Remember, it doesn't know what log for shell is. This happened after it was trained. If you just go to chatgpt.com and, and ask it, what's, what's log for shell? It does not, it cannot answer this question. So these are the Google results that came back. It decided I should scrape this one. I like this one. That's actually our company. I should scrape that. And it tells the scraper, show me an example of vulnerable code. So why does it tell the scraper what to do? A well, scraper is actually another instance of ChatGPT underneath in sort of like a, a subshell, like a sub process. And so what you have is ChatGPT telling another copy of ChatGPT, go do this, get me the result. And then this result came back from that other ChatGPT. It actually found the, it found uh, our example of vulnerable code, uh, kind of a lot of it. Then it, it said, hmm, I found out what I needed. I can provide a final answer. And it provides us the same final answer. There's the final answer right there. There's, you can see the, there's the vulnerable line. So this works with so many things. I mean, you can basically anything on the internet that has a very good chance of working. And uh, it's like an automated, researcher for you, right? It's it's like Google times a thousand. Um, in this case, our blog post is good, right? And it found what it needed right away. I've been typing queries into it all day and it will try different things. It will, if it's not getting good results on a Google search, it will try a different Google search. It will read multiple web pages. It will combine information. You know, it will, found, it will form foundational knowledge and then get the specific knowledge it needs after that. It really does it really does browse the internet like a person does and it's just so cool to watch uh let's try a different query maybe keeping the same theme uh asking it i'm just going with this this example of vulnerability but i mean you could you could ask it about the weather you could ask it you could ask it anything right uh okay let's run that Google search again, find out what log for shell is, because again, it doesn't know. So it goes, oh, I should find out what log for shell is so I can answer this question. All right, we're just gonna read Wikipedia this time. More general information, right? Not looking for a specific answer, just looking for how does log for shell work? I bet Wikipedia is a good place to start. So it's split the page into six chunks and I have it looping because the big problem with log for shell, you can't just paste in a huge amount of text and have it figure it out. It's a fundamental fundamental limitation of the model that it cannot take huge bodies of text. But what it can do is take big bodies and turn them into, it can take chunks and then pick out just the part you need. And so I have that running in a loop where I, I say, you know, 
here's the last chunk I here's what you said about the last chunk I gave you. Uh, can you improve on that? And it'll just go go down like a, a programmer would call it a map reduce. A little bit slow. That's a big uh, that's a big article, and it seems like ChatGPT is our servers are pretty loaded up today. All right. So now that sub copy of ChatGPT has told the outer copy. Here's what I learned from that web page uh, to answer your question. This is the question it asked itself. It says, oh, I know what to do now. It decided, right? It decided, I now know the answer. And it tells me, yep, that's a vulnerable call, which of course it is. Tells me why, tells me what to do. Gives me, gives me all the information I could possibly want and I didn't have to work for it at all. So <laughs> pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. If you think of more questions I should ask this thing, uh, if you want a link to the code, just hit me up in the comments. This thing is blowing my mind. All right. See you guys.